Hey, Dr. G here. We just wanted to bring you a brief message. Now, I apologize if I look tired and worn out. I went camping with my son and my dog yesterday and we had kind of a rough night, a storm hit. The moon was so bright, it was like a, a bright light on all night long. The dogs barking at bears or rabbits, I'm not sure. Uh, so I didn't get any sleep last night, uh, but it was still good to get out. Today I want to talk a little bit more about light. I know I talk about light a lot, but I think light is the key to health. Uh, light is really important because of the, the subatomic effects of light or what control life. It's how life happened because of the abilities of light. Do you ever hear the saying, let there be light? Well, you see the light there? Okay, right now the sun, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but the sun is very red. And why is the sun red? Well, there's a fire in California. It's called the, uh, I heard, it's called the Apple Fire. It's somewhere in San Bernardino County, I believe. But anyway, our whole sky is really in a haze from that fire. I guess the wind currents are coming from San Bernardino into Arizona, and we're getting the haze of that, that smoke and then the sunlight coming through. What the haze does is it blocks the blue frequencies as well as the violet and ultraviolet frequencies, but it's still very good for us to get out in it because now we're having a red light therapy day thanks to the apple fire. Okay, but was that why I wanted to talk to you today? No, because there's another topic that's interest, interesting that's related to light. And what that is, is uh, vitamin D. And I've talked so many times about vitamin D, but this is just kind of a little slant off to the side. So, side. so we're talking about vitamin D. I'm always talking about how supplements are not the right way to go with vitamin D that we want to get vitamin D either from our foods, from animals that produce the vitamin C in their systems or their products and, and get the vitamin D from there or make our own. We make our own by sunlight, again, sunlight, but there it's the ultraviolet B, which we're getting none of right now. So right now I wouldn't be getting any vitamin D. You can get the D Minder app will tell you if you're getting vitamin D based on your latitude and altitude, but it won't tell you about the haze, which today is probably blocking all of the vitamin D. Well, the thing about vitamin D is the observational studies. Oh, I have birds of prey squealing, if you hear that. Uh, they have a nest up there, and uh, they dive bomb me because they think I'm going to steal the babies. But... I'm not going to steal your babies. I love birds of prey. I'm a bird. Well, I'm not a bird. But uh, I'm a hunter-gatherer at times. Uh, this, this weekend, I actually harvested some crawdads and had some crawdads, uh, which were uh, tasting. It was fun uh, trying to catch those things. And I uh, got pinched a few times on the fingers. But anyway... I'm, I'm getting off topic here. What I want to talk about was uh, this vitamin D story. So they did a bunch of randomized controlled trials on different things like bone density and risk of developing cancer and risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Low vitamin D levels are also correlate to a higher risk of autoimmune disease. And like I said, cancer and heart disease and depression. And so they've done a lot of randomized controlled trials, but when they do what are called meta-analysis, where they combine all those trials into like one giant study, they find that vitamin D doesn't really do those things. It doesn't prevent cardiovascular disease, or at least the biomarkers of it, or these other diseases. And so that kind of gets back to, I say, don't take the pill. Get the real thing from the sun. It's very important. Now, am I guilty? of having patients for probably 15 years telling them to take a vitamin D supplement? Did I do it myself? Yes, because the simple mind says, well, if it's low and you're much more likely to get 
so-and-so disease like COVID-19 or whatever it is, then, if, you know, you can't go wrong taking the pill. Well, maybe you can go wrong. The randomized controlled trials have shown that, even though I am not a fan of randomized controlled trials because the randomized controlled trials typically give you the answer that whoever paid for the study wants. So I'm skeptical of randomized controlled trials. So I certainly don't use that as my only criterion. But here's another interesting thing is that rat poisons have as their only active ingredient, rat and ma mouse poisons like quinton mouse seed or quintox mouse seed, quintox mouse and rat bait, rampage mouse and rat bait and then decon you know one of the big sellers out there decon rat poison well it used to be the drug the blood thinner coumadin you know we give that to grandma for her atrial fibrillation and it's also a nice nice uh, chemical to kill a rat well vitamin d3 is also a nice chemical to kill a rat in fact as the only in active ingredient it will seriously raise the calcium levels and the phosphorus levels and cause death in a mouse or a rat. So bottom line is do not take the supplement. Find the sun. Okay. Find the sun. Get the D minder. Get your vitamin D the way nature intended. Taking a pill is like taking rat poison now the sun is there i'm looking at the video screen and i don't see it but in person it's awesome it looks like you know something scary from outer space the red moon i love it um, but it's not a moon it's the sun last night that moon was so white and so bright i couldn't sleep you know, I'm going, oh, I'm going to sleep under the stars. You know, tropical storm force winds started whipping and my dog started hearing the branches breaking and started barking. And my son uh, tried to sleep through it, but neither one of us could sleep. I'm exhausted today, so I'm looking forward to a good night of sleep tonight. And... You know, nature's way is best. Mankind, the functional medicine doctors, which included me for many, many years, told everybody, you know, taking vitamin D will fix so many ills in our society, all the diseases that are epidemic and going up and up and up. But nature has, has the answer. It's so simple and it feels so good. Today I was out in 7,500 feet elevation, sun all day. So that's another thing. When you're out in the sun that long, get that intense of a dose at high elevation, you get pretty tuckered out. It's like, you know, doing a marathon or maybe a half marathon. It, it, you need, the sun is powerful. It has some breakdown effects. And during our rest, during our sleep, and during our recovery, we build up better, just like a bodybuilder, an exerciser, you know, gets stronger as they exercise. Well, as we get in the sun, we can tolerate it better when we keep gradually building our exposure. And the key word there is gradual. Okay, Dr. G, be safe, have fun, look at the sun without your glasses. Red light therapy on hazy days, but you don't get the vitamin D stimulus of ultraviolet B. Thanks.